Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the gin and sin. Let's take a look at today's ingredients. What you're gonna need is a bottle of gin, a bottle of lemon juice, a bottle of orange juice, and a bottle of grenadine. For our garnish, we're gonna take a lemon, carve out a lemon wheel, and then cut the skin off to create a lemon twist to throw in today's glass, which is a chilled martini. Now let's chuck some goddamn ice. So smooth. This isn't even my full power. Now it's time to freak out with our ingredients. First, we're gonna need two ounces of your gin. Boom. One ounce of your lemon juice. Boom. One ounce of your orange juice. Boom and then just a dash of your grenadine. Now let's get the shaker sealed up and shake off some demons. Let's go. Let's go! All right, now that everything's mixed in, what we wanna do is drain your liquid into your glass. Let's give it a nice pour. You can see it has that nice orangey hue. Absolutely stunning. Next, what we're gonna do is go on over to the garnish station and I'm gonna grab that lemon twist and I'm gonna reinforce the twist pattern. That way it takes a nice shape. And then, gonna slip it in our glass for our garnish. And really that's all there is to it. Gin and sin, done and done. Super simple, super easy. Let's give this guy a taste test. We don't need the garnish, don't worry about it, it's fine. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, baby. That's a gin and sin. Delectable, bitter with a little strength to it. Oh, it definitely kicks you right in the lungs too, my God. But hey, don't take my word for it. You take a sip and love life. Hey guys, if you like my videos, if you like the content I'm dropping out, be sure to give me a like, smash that subscribe button, tell a friend, tell a family member, and tell them, hey, come through check out my bruise. Let's go, baby. I'm gonna give this one more sip. I don't do this for you. Ooh. You see some people tug as if they're walking in your shoes. Ooh. Could care less of your opinion, how you feeling all your views. Ooh. The way that I am living is not for you to approve. Out of mind, out of mind. So get yourself some business to stay out of mind.